Yeah, actually, uh, in our country, it's uh, quite interesting because we came to gaming much later than you all. Uh, that's because there was this kind of uh, regime which uh, didn't bring us computers. So even if we got this kind of coin slot machines, these arcades, you know, you throw in coins and play for two minutes, and then you just, you know, had to throw another coin. And it was not like a slot machine. It's more, it was like an arcade, really, like you play Pac-Man, for example, there. But there were no computers, and uh, they basically there were some kind of uh, pretty unusable computers like IQ 151, which nobody knows about. It was a yellow computer with a circular buttons. And if you touch the back of this computer, you would burn your hand because it was very hot. <laughs> and and that was it. So basically, uh, I've seen like a first computer, like a, which was able to play. Uh, I was able to play games on it. It was a, Com a Commodore C64, and it was as late in, as in uh, uh, 1989 or 1990 or something like that. It was basically the era when computers appear here because it was possible to bring them in our country and it was legal. Before it was illegal, it was just smuggled. Oh, man. So it brings a bit different perspective that uh, we've started discovering uh, video games much later as a, as a country or as a people. But uh, And it was also very kind of uh, Wild West er uh, period because at that point, Nobody knew anything about uh, anything like, for example, uh, uh, copyright laws. So there were companies uh, and they were selling cassette tapes for Commodore and they were filled with cracked games. You just go to the shop, bought this kind of cassette and it was filled with cracked games because nobody had an idea uh, what's the difference. They just, you know, pay for a game and then go, uh, they got like 100 games on the tape or, I don't know, 30 games on the tape and that was it. So. Uh, uh, I'm putting this a bit into a perspective uh, to uh, speaking about uh, about the fact that uh, also everything like uh, computer wise was extremely expensive here at the beginning it's not nowadays but at the beginning it was like you know you would pay incredible money for for example uh, 386 uh, PC computer it was money uh, which you would today buy really high profile server for so this kind of this kind of things were happening, and we uh, basically were discovering uh, games as a phenomenon after this revolution, which occurred in 1989. It was the point when we really started to think about the games and what the games are. And it was also the time when I started myself uh, more seriously with gaming. It was with the C64 computer, which I really loved, and I learned to program it as well. And Especially, it was the game, and it was adventure game from that period, and it was uh, Zack McCracken and Alien Mindbenders, oh, which yeah. was basically uh, the game which kind of opened my eyes. And it was the point I was—I don't know—I was 13 or something like that back then, and I was saying, "Yeah, I want to make a video game. I want to be a video game developer." At that point, when I played this game. <laughs> 